Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a special tower reading for my Pisces for this full moon in Virgo. So how are you my beautiful Pisces? Um, so I know that some of you will be celebrating your birthday. It is Pisces season and I love Pisces season because it's my love romance season. Yes, some of you are celebrating your birthday, so happy birthday. And with that, there will be a full moon in your sector of relationship, in your seventh house. So if you count um, yourself as a first house, my Pisces, and you want to know which house rules Virgo, you go counterclockwise until you see Virgo, you'll see it's the direct opposite house straight looking at you. It's the seventh house of other people. And that could be other people in your relationship, partnership, business, other people in your life, it could be anybody, okay? So whenever there is a full moon, that means it's the beginning of something, okay? Uh, maybe some of you will be starting a new relationship, new partnership in business, new romance, new, uh, you know, new agreement, a new contract, uh, you know, new friendship, a lot of things. It could be many things. For this forecast, I will do it a little bit differently. I will pull two cards from my Morgan Greer deck, which is this one. All the information from my deck will be below the video. I will pull one card from the Wisdom of the House of Night uh, Oracle card. And one card as well from the Wisdom for Healing cards by Carolyn Miss. Okay? I do believe that, uh, you know, because it's a, it's a full moon, you know, the more uh, clarity we get from spirit, the better, more guidance, uh, better direction will go forward. So we'll see what our uh, spirit has to say for you, my beautiful Pisces. I just want you to know that if you'd like to book a private reading uh, with me, you can book me on my Facebook page, the information below the video as well. And before recording this video, I always uh, meditate and shuffle the card as well. When I meditate, I mostly ask for spirit guidance. Okay, so let's see what spirit has to say for you, my beautiful Pisces. So we have uh, the Six of Rods. It's in reverse for me. So the Six of Rods. And next to it, we have the Judgment. Okay. Let me just check something really quickly. Okay, yeah, Neptune is... Yeah. The sun is conjuncting your ruler, Neptune, the, the illusion. And I think also, I mean, I think uh, Venus is retrograde on top of that. Okay, so although it's not your ruler because it's exalted in Pisces, it always has an influence for you. Okay, so here there's a lot of emphasis in your relationship. Okay, you are some of my Pisces that are in a relationship one foot out, one foot in, because the six of rods in, in the straightforward position, it's all about arriving to something af after some type of uh, dispute. Remember the five of rods when other people are like arguing, and then the six of rods, you won, and then you move forward. When it's in reverse, is this you are winning, you are in a successful place, but you're not content, you're not happy. You don't feel fulfilled, okay? And that, that is looking, you looking at your relationship, okay? Because of it's a, this is, a, like I said, a formal reading. So when you're looking at Virgo, you may have this, you may not be fully, or may you look at your relationship, your partnership with your business people, or the people you work, you may not, you may feel like you're working harder than what they're, they're working, or the, I should say that you're, you're giving more than what they're putting in. And that doesn't mean it's the relationship. It could be at work where you feel there's, there's some area. It doesn't mean in a, one of, Pisces will know. There's one area of your life where it is, it will be shown where you want something to change. It may not be necessarily that you're not content. Maybe that there's a lack of activity. But with the judgment card in reverse, it's telling you here that you're not looking at, like there's a lot of things you're looking at right now. So you really have to take a step back, and I'll go further than that. I know it's a cycle, it's a 30-day cycle, but I would say for my, some of my Pisces will have to take a step back until I would say like June, okay? If you're on the verge of making a decision, try to hold yourself. Try to take it very, very slow, only because 
you know, the sun always burn a little bit where it sits. So now you feel great. Neptune is there, right? Your ruler. But then it's it's really, it's, it's emphasizing you on your wish and desire. And you may see your wish and desire there. Like, you know, it's there. There's a lot of energy doing this, this, like pointing you to something. You may feel that more than usual in some area of your life. And what I would recommend, because I see the judgment card here re reverse, it is reversed as I'm reading it for myself and giving it to you. It shows that you are not able to see things. You're not picking up on lesson here. You're getting mixed messages. You're not. You're not. You're not really directed the energy where the, the your sole purpose should be, where you should be aligned in your life right now. And like again, this is a general reading for my Pisces and. The seventh house, like I said, is the opposition, right? Opposite attracts. So when you have your yourself, look at you. You have this. You're the sun. The sun is in Pisces, so right. The sun is bright and shining, and the sun is looking at this full moon in Virgo. So you like it, right? Because it's it's different. It's mysterious. You're you're bright, and the moon is dark. Whatever that is, is something that is attracting you right now. There's, like I said, there's a lot of energy pointing you towards a direction where you may feel for some reason that it's fate or whatever you're, you're pushed to believe. I'm telling you here, this week will be very, this week, this, this cycle will be very strong. And I would suggest you to slow down. And because I look at astrology, I see different influence around you. I suggest you to, I would recommend to slow down, I would say until June. Okay. But yes, and with Venus, you may, someone from the past may come back or you may come back and it's not from the past, like you were young as a kid. It could be from the past, from a past life. You could have all this faith energy around you. It may be there. It doesn't mean it's not there. It may or may not, but ultimately it is not what, where the, the, your soul is aligned. So just be aware of that for some of my Pisces. And I will take... One card from the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle deck. I'll read the description from the book as well. And I love this card because it's all about goddesses and uh, moon transit. And, you know, you Pisces know better than anybody. What For a moon forecast, we have to connect to the feminine energy. It's all about the feminine energy. So I'll take one card and see uh, the message from Spirit for you, my Pisces. Let's see what it says. This one. This one, it says 33. Wow. Loyalty. Wow. Loyalty. First time I pulled this card. I mean, this is a new deck for me as well. Oracle card. I have very few deck of Oracle. This one is new. So 32. Uh, sorry. 33. Loyalty. In bracket, it says Stevie Ray. Okay. So, um... It says here, um, you have chosen the symbol of loyalty, and this means you are being called to stand up for who and what you believe in. Do you know the story of beautiful red vampire who saw the good in, an, in another and remained steadfast in her loyal in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times, and you may be asked to assess whether others deserve your loyalty. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it is difficult to speak up for another person, a, a cause, or even for yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and to leave the rest behind. This is true test of character. I know you will choose right, right, rightly. Stand up for what you believe. And be loyal only to what is true and good. Wow. Okay. You know what that means, my Pisces. Okay. And let me take also uh, one card from the Archetype um, Wisdom for Healing. Actually, this deck. Again, all the information uh, will be below the video. And let's see what spirit, what message spirit has to say. For you, my beautiful Pisces, for this next cycle, I 
feel like taking this one for you, my beautiful Pisces. And it says here, see the synchronicity. This is a cute card. I love it. See the synchronicity. I love it. Okay, it says, take note of all synchronistic happening and coincidences that occur on this day. And know that not, nothing happens by accident. Your goal to appreciate the divine details that are woven into every moment of your life. Yeah, something is happening in some area of your life, something big. Well, you want it to be big. It could be, and then that's the thing. With Neptune and, and with the sun, that this is an energy of dream come true. That's what it is with Pisces. It's, you know, this detachment of things and really wanting to just live makes things easy because it's just manifesting things. Uh, manifest things easy also. But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Pisces. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next time, send me lots of kisses. I love you.